Day 12. Overcoming Your Fear Today you learn about how to diffuse the power fear has over you and trust that life is taking care of you. Look in your mirror, take a deep breath, and blow a kiss to that beautiful person who is looking back at you. You are getting stronger each day. Thank your mirror for helping you release your past and reflect more positive thoughts your way. Life loves you, and so do I. Today, your mirror work is on an emotion that can block you from loving yourself, forgiving others, and having the happy life you deserve. This emotion is fear. Fear is rampant on the planet today in the form of war, murder, greed, and mistrust. Fear is a lack of trust in yourself. When you can overcome your fear, you will begin to trust life. You will begin to trust that life is taking care of you. In her international bestseller, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, Susan Jeffers wrote, quote, If everybody feels fear when approaching something totally new in life, yet so many are out there doing it despite the fear, then we must conclude that fear is not the problem, end quote. She believed that the real issue is not the fear itself, but how we hold it. We can approach fear from a position of power or from a position of helplessness. The fact that we have the fear becomes irrelevant. How much power do you give to your fears? When a fearful thought comes up, it is really just trying to protect you. When you become physically frightened, adrenaline pumps through your body to protect you from danger, and the same thing happens with the fear you manufacture in your mind. I suggest that when you do your mirror work, you talk to your fear. You can say, I know you want to protect me. I appreciate that you want to help me, and I thank you. Acknowledge the fearful thought for wanting to take care of you. By observing your fears and addressing them during your mirror work, you will begin to recognize that you are not your fears. Think of your fears the way you view images on a movie screen. What you see on the screen is not really there. The moving pictures are just frames of celluloid that go by in a flash. Your fears will come and go just as rapidly unless you insist on holding on to them. Fear is the only limitation of your mind. You fear getting sick or becoming jobless or losing a loved one or having your partner leave you. Then fear becomes a defense mechanism. It would be much more powerful, however, to do your mirror work so that you can stop recreating fearful situations in your mind. I believe that we have a choice between love and fear. We experience fear of change fear of not changing, fear of the future, and fear of taking a chance. We fear intimacy, and we fear being alone. We fear letting people know what we need and who we are, and we fear letting go of the past. But the mind cannot hold two opposing thoughts at once, and at the other end of the spectrum from fear is love. Love is the miracle worker we're all looking for. When you love yourself you can take care of yourself. When you are frightened, remind yourself that it means you are not loving and trusting yourself. The belief that you are not good enough is often the root of your fears. But when you love and approve of yourself completely, you can begin to overcome your fears. Do everything you can to strengthen your heart, your body, and your mind. Turn to your mirror, and the power is within you. Let's affirm. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. I am safe. Love is my strength. Only love is real. Your Day 12 Mirror Work Exercise 1. What is the greatest fear you are experiencing now? Write it on a post-it note and stick the note on the left side of your mirror. Acknowledge this fear. Tell it, I know you want to protect me. I appreciate that you want to help me. I thank you. 
Now I let you go. I release you, and I am safe. Then take the sticky note, rip it up, and toss it in the trash or flush it down the toilet. However you get rid of the fear, the point is to release it. 2. Look in the mirror again and repeat these affirmations. I love and trust. Love and life take care of me. I am one with the power that created me. I am safe. All is well in my world. 3. Now look in the mirror and observe your breathing. We often hold our breath when we're frightened. If you are feeling threatened or fearful, consciously breathe. Take a few deep breaths. Breathing opens the space inside you that is your power. It straightens your spine, opens your chest, and gives your tender heart room to expand. 4. Continue breathing naturally and observing your breath. As you do this, repeat these affirmations. I love you, name. I love you. I really love you. I trust life. Life gives me everything I need. There is nothing to fear. I am safe. All is well. The Power is Within You, your journaling exercise for Day 12. 1. Write down your greatest fears under the following headings. Family, Health, Career, Relationships, and Finances. 2. Then write one or more positive affirmations for each fear you listed. For example, if you wrote, I'm afraid I'll get sick and won't be able to take care of myself, then an affirmation might be, I will always attract all the help I need. Your heart thought for day 12. I am always perfectly protected. Remember, when a fearful thought comes up, it is just trying to protect you. Tell the fear, I appreciate that you want to help me. Follow that with an affirmation to address that particular fear. Acknowledge and thank the fear, but don't give it power or importance. Your Day 12 Meditation Creating a Safe and Loving World Think of today and every day as a time of learning, a new beginning. It is an opportunity to change and grow, to open your consciousness to a new level and consider new ideas and new ways of thinking, to envision the world we dream of living in. Our vision helps to create the world. Come with me as we see ourselves and our planet in new and powerful ways. Envision a world where everyone has dignity, where everyone, no matter what race or nationality, feels empowered and secure. See children everywhere being treasured and valued as all child abuse disappears. See schools using their precious time to teach children important things, like how to love themselves, how to have relationships, how to be parents, how to handle money and be secure financially. Then see all the sick people being made well again, disease becoming a thing of the past as doctors learn to keep people healthy and vital. See pain and suffering disappearing and hospitals being turned into apartment buildings. Envision all the homeless taken care of and jobs available for everyone who wants to work. See prisons building self-worth and self-esteem in guards and prisoners alike, releasing responsible citizens who love life. See churches removing sin and guilt from their teaching and supporting their members in expressing their divine magnificence and finding their highest good. 
see governments really caring about the people with justice and mercy available to all. See honesty and fairness returning to all businesses as greed becomes unknown. See men and women empowering one another to live in dignity as all acts of violence are eliminated. See pure water and nourishing food and clean air being the norm for all of us. Now let's walk outside and feel the clean rain. And as it stops, clouds fade away and we see a beautiful rainbow as the sun comes out. Notice the clear air. Smell its freshness. See sparkling water in streams and lakes. Notice the lush vegetation, dense forests, abundant flowers, and fruits and vegetables available to everyone. All over the world, see everyone enjoying peace and plenty with harmony among all people. As we lay down our arms and open our hearts, see judgment, criticism, and prejudice becoming old-fashioned and fading away. See borders crumbling, separation disappearing. See us all becoming one, truly brothers and sisters who care about one another. See the planet, our Mother Earth, healed and whole, natural disasters dissipating as the earth breathes a sigh of relief and peace reigns. Think about other positive things you would like to see happening on this planet. As you continue to hold these ideas in your mind and envision them, you are helping to create this new, safe, and loving world.